All right, guys, this is another one of the locks from Lockbusters Bulgarian Box. This is a Geo, and he told me that he believes this one is made uh, in Greece, not in Bulgaria. It looks to be a six-pinner half-cylinder. We're going to probably have to gut this thing, but I want you to take a look at this keyway. It is a Yale-like keyway, but very strong twist around that corner. Very tight, paracentric keyway. This is very typical of what you find in Europe. And let's see if we can get in this thing. I'm going to mount him wrong side up. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can get a close look here. All right, when you have a very tight paracentric keyway like this, uh, usually the bottom of the keyway can't be used, so I'm going to just stick a tensioner in there and not bother with top of the keyway. I can't use the bottom anyway, so why not? And this is also a type of lock where a 15,000th Bogota will really shine. It's really going to pay off, at least get us a fault set, because 15,000th, it will get in there and it will go around that corner when you kind of rock it up and down like that. So let's try it. Um, I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can hopefully see if we get a fault set. All right, all the way in. I'm going to put light tension and then... When you put tension, that's when you're going to have trouble getting your pick in and out. So I'm going to rock him, basically just rock him up and down, in and out. And I'm getting no love. I'm going to try a reset. Try that again. And you just keep doing it. Probably overset somebody. There we go. There's our fault set. Let's see if I can rake them all the way open. I can't, but you see how that bounces the tension wrench there, right? Probably right in the middle somewhere. That tells me we got at least one spool. At least one, maybe two. Let me center that just a little bit better. All right, because it is a very paracentric keyway, I am going to take this guy. Oops, this guy, 15,000. This is from the Praxis kit. There are 15,000. And see if we can find that spool. Okay, it's not one, not two. There it is. Feels like pin three, getting some counter rotation. Get under him real good. Yep, getting pretty good counter rotation on him. So he's probably the first one. Okay, got him, I think. Nope. Got him that. Nope. Dang. All right, let's give him some real upward thrust. I think that got him. All right, let's keep looking around. Find another spool. I'm on three again. He's still getting counter rotation. Even this 15,000 is having trouble getting around that corner. Must be a high cut spool. Can't quite get him. There we go. I think we've only got one spool in this guy, but he's really high cut. I believe it's pin number three. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and find out. Let me zoom out. I have no key for this one, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to leave him just like that. Okay, get a tray up here. Okay, I'm going to rotate this keyway just like that. Get a medium. Now let's see what we got. All right, I'm not seeing any threading in there, just from my initial glance. Let's take a look at these pins, though. Standard, 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 standard. Oops, two standards. I, I don't know which of those. I might have got those two mixed up. But again, nothing in here. No counter milling, no nothing. This is standard core. Standard Greek core. Okay. Let's see if we can find how many spools we got. I know for sure we got one. I believe it's going to be in position number three. There's one in position number two. Really filthy looking thing. Three has a, check that out. It's cut on the end almost like a T-pin. It was not a spool, but there is one in position four. Five, a standard steel pin. And the last one, 
Another spool. Can you believe that? We raked everything except one, possibly two of those. Uh, springs look all standard. If they'll even come up. My gosh, look at all that junk falling out of there. That's what happens when you mount your locks upside down like that. All the stuff gets settles in the bottom from the keyway. Anyway, there's what we're looking at. Oh gosh, I just wrecked the setup here. Get this range just a little bit better. And there's what we're looking at, guys. Looks like we really only had three spools. All the rest were standards, except this guy who had a little bit of narrowing on the on the end. I don't think that really played into it. I think we raked right by him. Anyway, guys, there you go. The Geo from Greece from Lockbuster in Bulgaria. A lot of miles on this lock. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Mm -hmm.